The VW or Audi AGU 1.8 turbo 20 valve engine launched in 1996 has become an iconic and popular choice for tuning and building horsepower. With its durability and potential for performance upgrades, this engine has found its way into various VW and Audi models, including the MK4 GTI, the MK5 Jetta, the B5 Passat and many more. In this definitive guide, I will take you through all the stages of upgrading your 1.8 turbo 20 valve engine from a stock setup to achieving high horsepower while ensuring engine integrity and reliability. Now, when making these kinds of videos, I like to start with your stock motor. So, the stock VW Audi motors made from 120 horsepower up to around 180 horsepower. And in the Golf 4 GTI, which featured the 180 horsepower version, it could propel this hot at from 0 to 60 in 7.9 seconds. But since the release of these engines, people have figured out exactly how to extract the most power out of these motors possible. So let's go in stages, as I usually do. Stage 1. The stock turbos on these motors leave a lot to be desired. So whereas with most of the engines, we start simple, yeah I would say from the get-go upgrade the turbo. Now, the KO4 Turbo is a popular choice, capable of delivering approximately 225 horsepower at the wheels with minor modifications or around 210 horsepower with just the turbo and tuning. Upgrading the exhaust manifold, downpipe, intercooler and intake system is essential to maximize the turbo's performance and when the right supporting mods are done, you could make between 230 and 250 horsepower. But let's say you want more but you don't want to go through the hassle of opening up the motor and strengthening stuff. So, stage 2. Now with these mods, you should make around 275 horsepower, and the motor would happily make it. Now in this stage, you need to get an upgraded intake hose and fuel pump upgrade to support the increased power output. Then all of the parts from stage 1 should be retained. So, bigger turbo, intercooler, downpipe, etc. Now, this is a safe place to chill, if you just want to have a fun daily driver as these motors are rated to make around 350 horsepower, so 275 should be pretty safe. Now before we start talking about mods for stage 3, let's talk engine, as it would be recommended to upgrade some internals depending on your goals. Now, this engine has undergone several updates and different engine codes over the years, but it can be categorized in two main generations of the engine blocks, the 058 and the 06A. The early 058 engine block was found in the early Audi B5 A4 and VW Passat models, produced from 1996 to the mid-2000s. It featured an internal intermediate shaft that drives the oil pump and an external water pump driven by the accessory belt. The later 06A engine block introduced in the mid-2000s eliminated the intermediate shaft and updated the timing belt driven water pump. This block that was found in the newer models offers improved reliability. Now both the 058 and 06A blocks use 5 2-bolt main caps and it is important to reinstall the main caps in the exact location and orientation that they were removed in. Factory main caps should be replaced with performance main bearings as power levels increase to withstand additional bearing loads and reduce friction and wear. The crank itself is made out of forged steel so it should be strong enough for most applications. But before reinstalling the crank and new bearings back into the engine, upgrading the engine's hardware is crucial for high horsepower builds. Factory one-time use stretch bolts should be replaced with aftermarket options like IE or ARP bolts, especially if you plan on pushing your car beyond 400 horsepower. Then the timing system is a weak point in the 1.8 turbo engines and failures can result in complete engine failure, which would not be ideal. Upgrading the timing belt tensioner and drive gear with reinforced options like those offered by IE strengthens these interfaces and protects your engine investment. When it comes to building your pistons and rods for power, different power levels require specific upgrades. For power levels between 300 and 400 horsepower, upgrading the connecting rods with forge options while retaining stock pistons is a proven and reliable combination. Most H-beam rods should be fine, just remember, normally the expensive brands are expensive for a reason. Then upgrading the connecting rods and pistons with high performance force options become necessary for power levels exceeding 400 horsepower. Now before we go on, the stock pistons and rods can handle around 350 ish horsepower, but you are pushing them pretty hard at that point. Anyways, I know some of you guys scoff at 400 horsepower, 
So for power levels beyond 500, you are going to need some deep pockets because this is where things get expensive. You will need both forged pistons and rods, but the specific pistons you want to get will be a set of forged stroker pistons and a stroker crankshaft, which will increase the displacement and yield more horsepower and torque at the same boost. Then, wrist pins are often overlooked but can lead to build failures. Upgrading to tool steel wrist pins, especially with higher horsepower levels, ensures strength and reliability. Billet main caps. And then on the 06A block, girdle plate upgrades are recommended for power levels above 500 horsepower to reduce main bearing wear and reinforce the engine block. As I said here, it starts to become really expensive. Anyways, now you have a really strong motor that can handle some power. So for stage 3, now I do have to say you won't necessarily need all the motor mods I just mentioned, but that's why I was specific with power outputs and when to upgrade them. So look at your goal and then upgrade accordingly. Now when going through stage 3, you want to get a nice and big turbo. Something like a GT28 or a GTX28 turbo, maybe even a GT30. And with this bigger turbo, you want to include a 3 inch downpipe, a race catalytic converter or a catalyte, bigger intercooler, upgraded clutch, better injectors, upgraded fuel pump, and then to control everything, switching over to a standalone ECU would also be recommended. Then for the head, upgrading the cams to a 260 or 262 cam could really help and then doing valve springs and maybe even port and flow the head will all just be beneficial to the total build. Finally, to ensure that everything stays nice and cool, get yourself a big oil cooler and while you're at it, I would recommend an oil catch can too. The catch can won't affect temps, but with an oil catch tank, you can keep oil and oil vapors away from the intake, which is good. When oil goes in through the intake, it reduces octane and thereby you lose power from the engine. In conclusion, the VW Audi 1.8 turbo 20 valve engine offers great tuning potential from mild upgrades to high horsepower builds. By following the recommended upgrades based on power levels, you can build a reliable and powerful engine. By the way, um, for those that are interested, I am currently building one of these for myself. So if that's something you would like to see, let me know down below and stay tuned as I will be posting some of those build videos soon. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you thought of the video and what you think of this engine. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.